Hey girls, Mama Girls here and welcome back to another video. Today we are doing a video that I've really anticipated for quite a long while but I really wanted to give myself the time I needed to collect my thoughts and my opinions. Today we are gonna compare an iconic staple product in the makeup industry, the Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder by Charlotte Tilbury with the underdog of said brand, the Magic Loose Setting Powder. We're gonna see what powder actually is the right for you because let me tell you something, baby. After this video, you want to get at least one of these. Maybe even both, I'm not gonna lie here. Thank you for making that announcement that no one cared about. I've used these two powders excessively over the last couple of months. Here you go, I hit pan. There's only the slightest bit of product left. This one I also have used for quite a bit. I'm not sure if you can tell on camera, not really, but there's a lot of separation, like we used a lot of this product. So you guys, if you are interested in this video and if you want to know if you are an airbrush flawless finish girl or a magic powder girl, then stay tuned. If you already know it, let me know in the comments down below. I'm gonna give you my final answer at the very end of the video, just FYI. But if you're interested in this video, then please consider giving this a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel, cause we're heading for the millions, at least in my head. But if you subscribe, we are heading for them in real life too. Don't forget to ring a bell to get notified when I post new videos, normally every Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays, always uploaded at 4 p.m. Central European time, which is 7 a.m. California Standard time. And without further ado, let's just hit the intro. Just because of its iconic status, I would prefer to start off with the Airbrush Flawless Powder. Charlotte herself calls it the Powder Revolution. It is a mattifying powder that gives a hint of color to your face. It's a silky powder, it has actually micro particles in it that actually feel like cashmere on the skin. They reduce uneven skin, breakouts, fine lines, cover up scars and also in general just pores. We didn't say that, uh, no, but it it looks an awful lot like that. That's why it's called airbrush if you don't know. It is infused with rose wax and also almond oil to hydrate the skin and actually let it glow throughout the whole day. You get 8 gram and it retails for 42 euros, which is obviously a luxury price point, but once more, we're talking about a luxury brand here, Charlotte Tilbury, if you didn't know, she's luxury, she's high-end. Starlings. So the pricing itself is rather fair, if you ask me. Both of these, by the way, retail for 42 bucks, just letting you guys know, so it's the same amount of money spent on both of these products. I do want to give the disclaimer, I'm from Austria, if you couldn't tell by my thick accent, so maybe the pricing is different from where you're from. Let's throw up the ingredients just right over here, that's a full ingredient set. If we take a closer look, they're actually quality-wise very good, but also they don't really wow me. It is on a talc base with mica, which gives it a little bit of sheen. We have a lot, a lot of silicone. As we already mentioned, we also have the sweet almond oil, we have rose flower wax, and just some other ingredients. This one is formulated with uh, parabens, so with preservatives, which we do not mind on this channel. Preservatives are meant to make your product long-lasting. It's biology. It also comes in four different colorways, fair, medium, tan, and deep. This one is in number one, fair. The second powder is the Magic Loose Setting Powder by Charlotte Tilbury. It comes in one of these classic, you know, uh, containers. It is 13 gram, so 0.45 fluid ounces. So you do get more product in this one for the same pricing, though you want to be fair. A loose powder will always have more fallout than a press one, at least in my personal opinion. It has a revolutionary technique in it which basically allows the light to reflect beautifully off your skin. It's infused with amazing skincare ingredients that actually help to brighten your skin over time. It reduces fine lines and gives a mattified natural look to the skin. The magic powder is actually not on a talc base but on a mica base which is the reason why this one is more luminous than the airbrush flawless powder. It has silica in it, we have cornstarch which we had in the airbrush flawless powder. Then in fourth place we have squalane which is a oil that is naturally produced in our skin. This is actually what uh, Charlotte referred to as brightening over time. I 
just random side note, love using squalene in my skincare routine. Camilla seed oil, we have some lysine, fatty alcohols, a little bit of uh, glycerin. So these were the facts. Let's come to my ranking. I would love to point out the obvious difference. Press compact, loose powder. Bitch, duh. There are no other options. So there's not a loose airbrush powder and there's not a pressed magic powder. Both of these powders are actually described as a natural matte finish. Though I do want to point out that the magic powder has more sheen to it, which in my personal opinion makes it a little more suitable for drier skin. While the airbrush flawless powder actually has quite a matte finish. This one definitely will be a favorite if you have very oily skin. Objectively, I love the finish of the magic powder a little bit more because it just illuminates the skin with this very, very cute candlelit glow. We already pointed out that you get a little bit more product in the magic powder, though I have to say that I love that the airbrush flawless powder is actually suitable to put into your pores and touch up throughout the day. So it's not that this one looks powdery after a time, but due to the fact that this is a loose powder, I would never dare putting this into one of my fancy bags. Both of these are insanely blurring and long wearing, so I really can't make a differentiation between both of these. There are different formulations once more. Both of these are non-powdery powders. They won't put emphasis on anything you don't want to put an emphasis on. Just letting you guys know that. What I did realize is the natural pigment in the magic powder gives a slight white cast. Meaning that you definitely have to choose from one of the three shades this one comes in. The airbrush fullest powder also has pigment to it, but it's not as pigmented, at least in my personal opinion. When it comes to the ingredients, I'm not gonna lie, that one definitely got my heart. I was so excited to hear that this one literally has the best skincare ingredients in there that I just love to use in my skincare routine, but it's like a powder that makes my makeup last. All in all, I do have to say that for me personally, both of these powders are worth taking a closer look at. This one is an iconic classic, while this one is the underdog that a lot of people need to talk about. It's just real good. Currently, I am using the magic powder. I used it actually today. So all of the makeup you see on my face was set with this one. You can bake with it, but it is very fine. So I'm not sure if this is the best baking powder. I will get a refill because it's just so great to pop into your purse and touch up throughout the day. You guys, I do hope this video did help you. It's like the ultimate guide on Charlotte Tilbury powders. Uh, let me know, are you team airbrush flawless or team magic? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed it, give a thumbs up, subscribe, ring a bell. We're gonna see us very soon with a brand new video. Mwah. I love you so much, and we're gonna see us very soon.